Hi friends, today we are making a haunted castle. We're using a pencil, eraser, we're gonna need yellow, black, and you can pick any other color you want, oil, pastels, uh, and white. Um, you're also going to need blue liquid watercolors and salt if you have. All right, let's get started. So take your pencil and first we're just gonna lightly sketch our haunted castle. And they could all look different. Yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. I'm not gonna make, uh, I want it to be whimsical. So I'm not gonna make a perfect rectangle. It's gonna, and I'm gonna draw mine dark so you can see it, but you can sketch yours lightly. This way you could erase it if you don't like the shape. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a shape like this. And then I'm gonna make it come out on the sides like that and we're gonna make a peak for the roof like that I'm gonna go over it again just so it's darker like I said I want to make sure you can see it really good okay I'm gonna make a little chimney if I'm going too fast at any time you can always pause it Okay, and now I'm going to make a um, little door. I'm going to make a couple of windows. You can do either the rounded windows or the rectangular or square shaped windows. So I'll do, let's how about this? I'll do both. I'll do a round shaped window up here. And then I'm going to do the square windows over here. And remember, because it's whimsical, I'm not worrying about making it too perfect. Okay, and I'm going to make a hill. So I'm gonna have like a little hill here in the background. And it's kind of bumpy. It's not a perfectly straight line. And then I'm gonna make some creepy trees that are kind of peeking into the picture like that. So I'm gonna come up this way and I want my trees to be swirly. We're gonna be using um, the black oil pastels To fill all of that in. This is just a rough sketch. Okay, and then on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make this tree a little bit shorter. Okay, and then usually a creepy night has a full moon, so I'm going to stick my full moon right here. Just make a circle. And then I'm going to put some graves down here. So they're just an arch. You can make some big, some little, some could be rectangle. And then I'm going to also put a few little bats flying in the sky here. 
So for the bats, you can start with a little circle, add a little triangle at the top, two triangles, and then I'm gonna make, think about kind of like the letter V coming out of it. Then it comes down at the ends, and then zigzag across. Okay, and we'll color that in after. And let's make one more of those, but we'll make it smaller. So we'll try again with a little circle, two little points at the top, a little V this time, it's a baby, with the two little lines that come down, and then a zigzag. And there's my bats. All right, so now we have the layout in pencil, and we're gonna start with yellow since that's the lightest color. And with the yellow, I'm going to color my windows. When you're using oil pastels, you can start in one direction, go in another direction to make sure that you really get it all covered because we don't want any white showing through here. So I'm going to go over it a few times to make sure it's nice and blended. Same thing with this window. If you notice, like there's a little screech in there, um, streaks in there, I'm just going to take it and wipe it off a little bit in case there was another color on there from a different project. So anytime you can just clean it off by wiping it. Moving on to the next window. And then I'm gonna do the door. And for the door, I'm gonna just outline it as if the light is just coming through the edges. Like that. Okay. And then for the white, I'm gonna, my white was dirty, see? So I'm just gonna wipe it off. And now I'm just gonna fill in the moon with the white. And then because I like um, to layer colors with oil pastels, I'm just going to layer a little bit of green inside the window. And then I'm just going to take my finger and blend it. You could also do this with orange or purple or some other color. I just picked green today. Okay. You notice I'm only doing it on one side. We add a little bit on this side too. Okay, now it's time for black. We're going to be using a lot of black. Let's start with our baby bats. So, fill that in. Try and use the edge because this is a small space, so it's kind of hard. We really don't want any white spaces in here. Let's see, just make my wing a little bigger. Okay, so there's one. And I'll do this other one. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. 
Just try your best. Okay, so there's our bats. And now let's move on to the tree. So you see, I'm going over it and over it and over it a few times. Otherwise, it'll be all see-through, and I don't want that. And I'm kind of pushing, not my hardest, but medium when I color here. going to want to get all the way to the edge and I keep turning my pastel so that one side isn't wearing more than the other as it wears I just turn it around to the next side you could always rip off your paper too if it's getting too flat Take some patience to use oil pastels. But it's worth it when you're finished because it looks really, really good. This branch just falls off the page. Okay. And I'm going to move on to my little graves. And because it's so dark and this is pretty much a silhouette, I'm not going, you're not going to see these pencil lines. It's just all going to turn into a black shadow. Be careful, don't do that. See what I did, I just smudged it. So if your hand's starting to look dirty, get a napkin, wipe it off. These can be messy. You could even like change direction. So you see I was going side to side. Now maybe I'll go diagonal to get those little white spaces that didn't fill in. Just go on a diagonal and then they all fill in. See? Okay. Now over here, I'm gonna do black in the middle of the door. And then we're going to outline around the door. Being so, so careful not to color the yellow.
Okay, mine is starting to get low, so I'm gonna rip off some of the paper. Actually, I'm just gonna rip off all the paper, make it easier. Ah, and I broke it. It happens. Just keep going. Gonna be fun when we switch to the watercolor part. Because we're gonna use salt today and it's gonna resist and make it look all blotchy in the sky. Gives it a really cool effect. Keep up the good work. Like I said, it takes patience. I'm sure they're starting to look really cool. Okay. slow down for a minute to trace this and if you need to because you can tap it or blow it off because sometimes the little black pieces can get messy We're in the home stretch, we're almost finished with black. Gotta get that chimney.
Okay. Um, on the windows, I want to make um, a little plus sign. Like that. And let's do that in here. And this one, I'm going to make two lines. Like that. Now it looks like a tic-tac-toe board at the top. Okay. And we're going to make these tiny little grave here. Switch to this one. We have this other hill. And now to get all those white spaces, I'm just moving on that diagonal. Okay, one more tree and we're ready to use the watercolors. So I just took that smudge I made and made another swirly thing out of it. Because look at my hands, they're so dirty. <laughs> I'm sure yours are too. But it's fun. It's a fun mess. And it will wash off with soap and water, so don't worry. Okay, so just take a look at it and see if there's any place you see white spaces that you want to fill in. And then once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and put your oil pastels off to the side, wash your hands if you want. I'm going to leave my messy hands because we're just going to get more messy with the watercolors now. 
So on my tray, I have salt, blue liquid watercolor, and some water. Now I want the um, colors in the background not to be all the same. So I am gonna take my brush and dip it in some water. And I'm gonna wet some areas, not all of it. And you can go right on top of the oil pastel because that will resist the watercolor anyway. So I'm just wetting some spots you'll see. And then I'll wipe my brush off and dip it right into the blue, okay? And we'll add that. First, I'm just gonna put it on some of the wet spots, okay? Just kind of dab it around. All right, and now I'm gonna dab, dab, dab and spread it out. While it's really wet, we need those puddles. While it's really wet, I'm going to sprinkle salt on it. And you'll see what happens to it in just a moment. It'll resist the, the color and so it gets a little bit like white spots. Okay. So you'll see. Now when I paint the rest, I'm not going to paint over there. So those are my lighter areas. And then I want it really dark in some other spots because it's nighttime. Okay. Really dark here. And I'll say really dark here. Good. And then the rest of it, I want lighter. So I'm not gonna dip my brush in any more blue. I'm just, whatever's left on my brush we'll use, but we're only using water now. So look, my water's turning blue. I'm gonna dab it a little bit. My water's turning blue. And then we're just gonna spread out On the moon. Okay, you see, I'm not even dipping my brush in the water again. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm just filling in those other spaces. And that's how I'm getting different colors. I'm going back through any white spaces I see close to the tree. So my super dark spaces, I didn't put any salt. And then you'll see how it dries. You see what's happening? Like, look over here. Isn't that cool? So just take a look at it. See if there's any touching up that needs to be done. And that's it. There is our spooky, spooky night with our haunted house. I hope you had fun today. See you soon. Bye.